beautiful weather conditions for the start of the Tour of the Basque Country, the 62nd edition of the Great Race. Temperatures a little nippy this morning, around 6 degrees, but really it was to warm up throughout the day. Likewise, the race itself. Kind of a gentle introduction in the absence of a time trial, and that was welcomed by some of the great names here, including Mikkel Lander, who traditionally does not like such tests. This was going to be a test, however, for the strong, quick guys, a roller coaster of a course leading to a 50 kilometer circuit at the end of the day through La Guardia for the final intermediate sprint where Primus Roglic in the past had succeeded on La Vuelta. So familiar terrain to many and some great names here. And a breakaway that was kept on a short leash. Rodriguez from Arkea, Baronecchia from Cairo Rural and Yuristi from Uscatel Uscadi. Really, teams were thinking about colour order for the approach. In his Grenadiers, showing their hand early with Eaton Hayter, making sure that he stayed in the right position. Alex Aramburu, probably the day's favourite for Movistar. Kenti Bacher, Dion Smith, Rob Stenard. You get the idea of those who might thrive on a day like this. Well, team principals had to be looked after as well. Jumbo Visma looking after Jonas Vingago. Henrik Mass for Movistar. Richard Carapaz from... EF Education Easy Posts, also feisty. When it came to the bonus seconds, it was a, a good lead out by Rowan Dennis, the man who was hunting down those points, of course, Vingago, but pipped at the post by Danny Martinez for what could prove to be a crucial time gap by the time we get to the high ground, which will reveal itself starting tomorrow. Well, the mountains looming in the background, almost a, a curtain for the theatre that we were about to witness. And in fact, on some of the crimes, some did in fact find themselves out of position, had to get back in. One of those Egan Bernal, I can tell you, who lost quite a bit of time on the day on his long road to recovery. Well, Total Energies did a probing run, wound in by the likes of Sudal Quickstep, who were working for Andrea Baggioli. Ineos never that far off the point and making a big one, Omar Freyle. When he lit up, Ethan Hayter went onto his wheel and it was a challenge to absolutely everybody else to try and stop him. Difficult time in Catalonia, recovering from a broken collarbone from down under. When Hayter went, everyone else seemed to go backwards. Brilliant win for him, great way to open up and the lead of the Tour of the Basque Country in his back pocket. Hayter absolutely delighted. So will Ineos Grenadiers be by that performance. Danny Martinez well placed because of the bonus seconds garnered on the intermediate sprint. A team in charge? We shall wait and see. Plenty of high ground, some big names here as well to test the sinews, nerves and capabilities of everybody. Great opening of the sunshine with the fanatical fans here welcoming Ethan Hayter. Not only stage winner, beating Maro Smith, Abra Story, Aaron Burry in fourth, head of Alawa. That was your top five. But Hayter wears one of the entire selection of jerseys that he owns. He's in the lead of this race by a margin of four seconds, of course, from Schmidt. Well placed is, of course, Danny Martinez, finger go, and Mark Soler, who contested that intermediate. We race on as the Basque Country in stage two tomorrow.